Hello. I forgot to pull it out. My microphone that is. Yeah, it's the second of night. Which is funny because we're going to be doing Mother Goose stories. As soon as all these ads are done. I think I've got pre-roll ads going. I don't recall. Do I? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day to be neighbors. Would you be mine? Hmm. Real question is, am I streaming? Or am I just sitting here? Okay. Okay. It says I'm on. It says I'm on on here. Does it say I'm on, on the Twitters? Did it, okay, did the Twitters announcements. Cool, cool. Um, hmm. What else do I need to check on? Elementals. This, I want to see if these things are actually working. Yes, I'll be using Twitch because we're just in that kind of mood. Okay. Let's see chatbots commands. Do I have the one for social? It's not on this one. Okay, social isn't on stream, stream elements. Is it on the goodnight bot? Is it, it's not in the night bot. I've got too many bots, not enough brain cells. Okay, commands, default, let's see, I do not have it in the default ones, is it in my custom, I just have link in my custom, so why do I not have, it's in my timers maybe? Timers, it's just got the werewolf to clip it. It's not showing anything else. What is this one? Okay. Let's see, edit. Okay, let's just on timer and it says it's enabled. But it did have a listing of social, so when set for every twenty minutes. Okay. So that should be fine and dandy. Uh what else do I need to fix? Besides my own sanity, which is often in question as I sit here talking to myself. Okay, sound. Self, sound bots. Okay. Yes, make sure sound alert is logged in. Okay. 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 
and where's my profile? Where's my dashboard? My alerts. Where's the jump scare? Test and browser source. And it does not work. Okay. Well, that just generally sucks. <laughs> Because I know I want to get this working because Sammy wants to try to scare me and, well, it doesn't work if it doesn't work. Hey, I can actually set some of these to where there are points required. But I wouldn't do that because I want everyone, well, I actually have points. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this update of service? Yeah, yeah. Okay. A library. Settings. Copies on URL. Plan this page. It works fine on here. Why does it work on my? It just doesn't want to work. That is just an annoying pain in the ass. Channel points. <laughs> Apparently my settings have not been updated on this. Overlapping alerts is enabled. Okay. Don't have any system wide fans, volume source, managers. Don't. Hmm. I do use OBS Studio. No one here yet. Uh, well, there was a pie dove, apparently, but... I actually have channel points now. Let me do that same thing. Okay, I drag and drop this button to OS, but I want the copy and paste method. Okay. And since my mouse is seriously acting up... <laughs> it's not working. This generally sucks a big fuzzy donkey, which Okay, I'm just going to... Oh! Ah, excuse me. Ugh. Okay, well, let me go ahead and... Let me fix things. Yada, yada, yada. Ba -doom, ba -doom. Try this again, see if it'll play. Still no. Well, I don't want to say cups. I will have to look into it and hopefully next year I'll have everything working properly. It is strange to start thinking about it being next year, but um uh, It's the end of the year as we know it. Mm. Candy stick, quite tasty.
vanilla flavored, but still. Tangerine vanilla is a very good thing. Mm -hmm. Is this changed? No, it is still on monitor and output. <clears throat> it is all set for monitor and output. So everything on here should be good, according to. Now things are done. So, I really don't know what's going on. I don't have any mods or, I guess, managers, because that's what kind of option it gives. It says, hey, if you have a manager that you want to tinker with stuff, you can assign a manager to tinker with stuff. Anyway, before I start rambling far too much on things that I have very little control over at the moment, I uh, guess I should skip over to the reading screen. What'd you say? Oh, man, my hand is cold. Anyway, tonight, and I guess for the Subsequent Friday Fairy Tales. I'm going to be reading from this book until the fairy books come in from Barnes and Noble. You know, the ones I ordered on Christmas. So they usually ship within six days. Uh, yeah. And it says, once shipped, it should be here within three to five business days. Well, it is. I'll say we had four business days this week so far. No, five. Including today. <clears throat> ah. So, eventually I'll get the books, but by then, I don't know. Uh, if and when I finish Dracula next week. Why am I doing this? Let's go back to the just chatting screen. I'm still rambling. But I'm probably going to try to read... Alice in Wonderland, or Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, on Wednesday, on the Thursdays, to take place of Dracula, since I'm going to do long format stories on Thursdays and short form fairy tales on Fridays. Wednesdays, I'm going to try to start gaming more, but uh, I'm going to ask you Cubs for suggestions on that. So... Let me get this ancient tome of desperate need of rebinding. I really wish I knew a bookbinder. Because I would love to fix these books. This one was well loved. In fact, it's got the kid's name written in it. As well as various math equations. Okay. Back to the reading screen. <laughs> we, it's a minute after, so I guess we're ten ten down it. But anyway, this is Willie Pognani, Smothered Goose, written by um, William Pognani, or Pognani. He also did his own art for the thing, which was kind of cool. So, leave us get started. Let me, pages are, okay, pages are thick in this book, so it's going to be weird handling. But anyway, Old Mother Goose. Mother Goose had a house. 
was built in a wood, where an owl at the door for a sentinel stood. She had a son, Jack, a plain-looking lad. He was not very good, nor yet very bad. She sent him to markets, a live goose he bought. Here, mother, says he, it won't go for naught. Jack's goose and, and the gander grew very fond. They'd both eat together or swim in one pond. Jack found one fine morning, as I have been told, his goose had laid him an egg of pure gold. Jack rode to his mother, the news for to tell. She called him a good boy, and said it was well. Jack sold his gold egg to a rascal named Hugh, who cheated him out of half of his due. Then Jack went to courting a lady so gay, as fair as the lily, and as sweet as the may. Then Hugh and the squire came behind his back, and began to belabor the sides of poor Jack. And then the gold egg was thrown in the sea. When Jack, he jumped in and got it presently. Then old Mother Goose that instant came in, and turned her son Jack into the famed Harlequin. Then she with her wand touched the lady so fine, and turned her at once into sweet columbine. You got the goose, which he vowed he would kill, resolving at once his pockets to fill. Jack's mother came in and caught the goose soon, and mounting its back, flew up to the moon. Not in the least convoluted, is it? <laughs> okay. There was a little man. If you'll believe it. There was a little man, and he had a little gun. And his bullets were made of lead, lead, lead. He went to the brook and saw a little duck. And he shot it through the head. The head, head, head. He carried it home to his old wife, Joan, and bid her make... I'm going to start this one over again because I'm not catching the rhyme. And I'm live. I'm on MRX. And scuff happens to the best of us. And I am far from the best of us. <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend to be good. But anyway. Let's start this one over again. I wish my mouth would work better. Oh well. There was a little man. It's the name of the sun. There was a little man, he had a little gun, and his bullets were made of lead, lead, lead. He went to the brook, and he saw a little duck, and he shot it right through the head, head, head. He carried it home to his old wife, Joan, and bid her a fire to make, 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 to roast the little duck he had shot in the brook, and he'd go and fetch her the drake, drake, drake. Okay, this is going to be a singing stream now. Because these are nursery rhymes, because they are Mother Goose. And nursery rhymes deserve to be sung in a nursery, or by an old wolf. So, I'm going to sing them. This one... A very popular little tune that uh, I like to call Mary Had a Little Lamb. I'm not going to get at my bass. I promise I'm not, because I don't want to even try to play along with these. But Mary Had a Little Lamb. If you didn't know. Mary Had a Little Lamb, its fleece as white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It had followed her to school one day. It was against the rule. And made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. And so the teacher turned him out, but still he lingered near. And waited patiently about till Mary did appear. 
And then he ran to her and laid his head upon her arm, as if he said, I'm not afraid, you'll shield me from all harm. What makes the lamb love Mary so? The eager children cry. Why, Mary loves the lamb, you know, the teacher did reply. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now we got little boy Blue. Not a jazz musician, but he does blow. Little boy Blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where's the little boy that looks after the sheep? He's asleep under... Man. I cannot say these straight. I say them crooked. Look a little woman to shoot. Anyway, let me try this again, because I can. It's my stream, and I'll do what I want. Little boy blue. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where's the little boy that looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Go wake him, go wake him. Oh no, not I. For if I wake him, he'll certainly cry. Okay. Am I missing a page? Oh, it is. A page. Oh, well, I don't know the name of this one. All right. Handy Spandy, Jack a Dandy, loved plum cake and sugar candy. He bought some at the grocer's shop, and then he came out, hop, hop, hop. Here I am, little jumping Joan. When nobody's with me, I'm always alone. That is very true. <laughs> Right, here's another familiar little ditty, Yankee Doodle. The Yankee Doodle went to town upon a little pony. He stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. <laughs> hmm. These are going to be fun. I just know it. Hey, Doodle Dinkity! Hey, diddle dinkity, pompadity pets. The merchants of London, they wear scarlet. Silk in the collar and gold on the hem. So merrily march the merchantmen. A little cock sparrow sat in a tree, looking as happy as happy could be. Till a boy came by with his bow and arrow. Says he, I will shoot the little cock sparrow. The body will make a nice little stew, and his giblets will make me a nice pie, too. Sparrow? Says the little cock sparrow, I shall be s shot if I stay. So he flapped his wings, and he flew away. Yeah. Tom, he was a piper son. He learned to play when he was young. All the tunes that he could play was over the hills and far away. Right then. Tom, he was a piper son. He learned to play when he was young, but all the loons that he could play was over the hills and far away. Now Tom, with his pipe, made such a noise that he pleased both girls and boys. And they all stopped to hear him play over the hills and far away. Tom, with his pipe, did play with such skill that those who heard him could never keep still. Whenever he heard them, they began to dance. Even the pigs and their hind legs would after him prance. As Dolly was milking her cow one day, Tom took out his pipe and began to play. So Doll and the cow danced the Cheshire round till the pail was broke and the milk ran on the ground. He met old Dame Trot with a basket of eggs. He used his pipe and she used her legs. 
She danced about till the eggs were all broke. She began to fret, but he laughed at the joke. He saw a fellow. He saw a cross fellow was beating an ass, heavy laden with pots, dishes, and glass. He took out his pipe and played them a tune, and the jackass's load was lighted full soon. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Little Tom Tucker sings for supper. What shall he eat? White bread and butter. How will he cut it without air and knife? How will he be married without air or wife? Okay. That's just... Okay, continuing. <laughs> Wee Willy Winky runs through the town, upstairs and downstairs, in his nightgown, tapping at the window, crying at the lock. Are the babies in their bed, for it's now ten o'clock? <laughs> hmm. And our first sensory warning. For language. Remind you, this is a 1928 book, and it is nursery rhymes. And I apologize ahead of time. Ten little nigger boys. Ten little nigger boys went out to dine. One choked his little self, and then there were nine. Nine little nigger boys sat by sat up very late. One overslept himself, and then there were eight. Eight little nigger boys traveling in Devon. One said he'd stay there, and then there were seven. Seven little nigger boys chopping up sticks. One chopped himself in halves, and then there were six. Six little nigger boys playing with a hive. A bumblebee stung one, and then there were five. Five little nigger boys going in for law. One got in chancery. And then there were four. Okay. Four little nigger boys going out to sea. A red herring swallowed one, and then there were three. Three little nigger boys walking in the zoo. A big bear hugged one. And then there were two. Two little nigger boys sitting in the sun. One got frizzled up. And then there was one. One little, one little nigger boy living all alone. He got married. And then there were none. Okay. And that one is supposed to be set to music. Imagine that. Okay. I had a little pony. His name was Dapple Gray. I lent him to a lady to ride a mile away. She whipped him and she slushed him and she rode him through the mire. I would not lend my pony more to that for all the ladies hire. Ride a cock horse to Granbury across to see a fine lady on a white horse. Rings on her fingers and rings on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. Yeah. There was a monkey climbed up a tree when he fell down. Then down fell he. There was a crow who sat on a stone. When he was gone, then there was none. There was an old wife did eat an apple. When she'd eaten two, she'd eaten a couple. There was a horse going to the mill. When he went on, he stood not still. There was a butcher who cut his thumb. When it did bleed, then blood did come. Morbid. There was a lackey ran a race. 
When he ran fast, he ran apace. There was the cobbler, clouding soon. When they were mended, they were done. There was a chandler, making candles. When he, when he them stripped, he did them handle. There was a navy, went into Spain. When it returned, it came again. That's just... Okay. And here's one that sounds familiar. There was an old lady who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread, and whipped them all soundly, and sent them to bed. Uh -huh. <laughs> hmm. The giant Jim, great giant Grim, wears a hat without a brim, wears a toddin, wears a blouse. He trembles when he meets a mouse. Oh, okay. A frog, he would go, <laughs> a frog, he would a wooing go. Hi-ho, says Rowley, whether his mother would let her or no. With a rowley powley gammon and spinach, hi-ho, says Anthony Rowley. So off he set with his opera hat, hi-ho, says Rowley, and on the road he met a rat. With a rowley powley gammon and spinach, hi-ho, says Anthony Rowley. Pray, Mr. Rat, will you go with me? Hi-ho, says Rowley. Kind, Mrs. Mouse, for to see. With a rowley powley gammon and spinach, hi-ho, says Anthony Rowley. When they came to the door of Mousy's Hall, hi-ho, says Rowley. They gave a loud knock, and they gave a loud call, with a rowley, powley, gannon, and spinach. I ho, says Anthony Rowley. I am reading Mother Goose rhymes. <laughs> and they are very strange. I don't remember half of these, but they're weird. Pray, Mrs. Mouth, are you within? Hi ho, says Rowley. Oh, yes, yes, kind sirs, I'm sitting to spin. Wow. I... Okay, can you not hear me or what? Ah, well, so far as I know, I am alive. I often question it sometimes, but... Yeah. <laughs> Get this bot reported real quick. <laughs> but yeah, this is weird nursery rhymes. But thank you for the follow. <laughs> Let's see. With the Rowley, Powley, Gammon, and Spinach, hi ho, says Anthony Rowley. Pray, Mrs. Mouse. Will you give us some beer? Hi ho, says Rowley. For Froggy and I are fond of good cheer with a Rowley Powley gammon and spinach. Hi ho, says Anthony Rowley. Pray, Mr. Frog, will you give us a song? Hi ho, says Rowley. 
But let it be something that's not very long, with a Rowley, Prowley, Gammon, and Spinach. Hi-ho, says Anthony Rowley. Yeah. But while they're all merrymaking, hi-ho, says Rowley. A cat and her kittens come tumbling in with a Rowley, Powley, Gammon, and Spinach. Hi-ho, says Anthony Rowley. The cat sees the rats by the crown. Hi-ho, says Rowley. The kittens, they pulled the little mouse down. With a Rowley, Pow Rowley, Powley, Gammon, and Spinach. Hi-ho, says Anthony Rowley. Let's put Mr. Frog in a terrible fright. Hi-ho, says Rowley. He took up his hat and wished them good night with a Rowley, Powley, Gammon, and Spinach. Hi ho, says Anthony Rowley. This froggy was crossing over a brook. Hi ho, says Rowley. A lily white duck came and gobbled him up with a Rowley, Powley, Gammon, and Spinach. Hi ho, says Anthony Rowley. This is just morbid. Weird. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, there was a crooked man. There was a crooked man, and he went a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. There was an owl lived in an oak, whiskey, whiskey, weedle, and every word he ever spoke was fiddle, faddle, feedle. A gunner chanced to come that way, whiskey, whiskey, weedle. He says, I'll shoot you, little silly bird, fiddle, faddle, feedle. That's just weird. Just thinking, kids grew up with this stuff. That explains boomers. Well, this is actually pre boomer. This is like the generation beforehand. Stuff from the silent generation. Okay. Three blind mice. See how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife, who cut off their tails with her carving knife. Did you ever see such a thing in your life as three blind mice? Wow. Curly locks, curly locks, will thou be mine? Thou shalt not wash dishes, nor yet feed the swine, but sit on a cushion and sew a fine seam, and feed on strawberries, sugar and cream. Not bad. Whoop, little Jerry Tig has got a guinea pig. I wonder where he bought it. And Jerry Tig has taught it to wear a purple wig and dance an Irish jig. Weird. So very weird. Oh, simple Simon. This one's a familiar one. Simple Simon. Met a pieman going to the fair. Says Simple Simon to the pieman, Let me taste your ware. Says the pieman to Simple Simon, Show me first your penny. Says Simple Simon to the pieman, Indeed, I have not any. He went to catch a dicky bird, And thought he could not fail, Because he got a little salt And put it upon its tail. He went to shoot a wild duck, but Wild Duck flew away. Says Simon, I can't hit him, because he will not stay. He went to slide upon the ice, before the ice would bear. He then plunged above his knee, which made poor Simon stare. Simple Simon went to look if plums grew on a thistle. He pricked his fingers very much, which made poor Simon whistle. Simple Simon went to fishing to catch a whale. All the water he had got was in his mother's pail. He went for water with a sieve, but it soon all ran through. Now Simple Simon bids you all adieu. Uh, 
Uh, here we go. Just, yeah. A little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating of Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and cried, What a good boy am I! <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating of curds and whey. There came a big spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Pussycat, Pussycat, where have you been? I've been to London to look at the Queen. Pussycat, Pussycat, what did you s there? I frightened a little mouse under the chair. Mm. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty together again. Amazing how many of these things are morbid. But the nurses ramps. Yeah. So a Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. And Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Up Jack got, and home did trot, as fast as he could caper. And he got his mother to plaster his knob with vinegar and brown paper. Vinegar and brown paper. Lester, his knob. Yeah. Okay. Interesting way to put it. Hark, hark, the dogs you bark. Beggars are coming to town. Some in jags and some in rags, and some in velvet gown. Oof. These are fun. Nixie Dixie Hickory Bow, thirteen Dutchmen in a row. Two corporals hold a piece of twine to help the Dutchmen form a line. Wow. This is the house that Jack built. This is the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the cat that killed the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the dog that worried the cat that killed the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is a cow with a crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that killed the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the maiden all forlorn that milked the cow with a crumpled horn, that tossed the dog that worried the cat, that killed the rat, that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the man all tattered and torn that kissed the maiden all forlorn, that kissed, milked the cow with a crumpled horn, that tossed the dog that worried the cat, that killed the rat, that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the priest all shaven and shorn that married the man all tattered and torn that kissed the maiden all forlorn that milked the cow with a crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that killed the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. Yeah. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? Silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Yeah. I'm going to have to do an entire stream just on the history of these things. <clears throat> old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Every fiddler had a fiddle, and a very fine fiddle he had. Twee, tweedledee, tweedledee went the fiddlers, and there was none so rare as can compare with King Cole and his fiddlers three.
four and twenty cent tailors went to kill a snail. But the best man among them durst not touch her tail. She put on her little horns like a little cow cow. Run, tailors, see, she'll kill you even all now. Deadly snail. Okay. Fiddle dee dee, fiddle dee dee, the fly was married the bumblebee. Says the fly, she says, Will you be will you marry me and live with me, sweet bumblebee? Says the bee, says she, I'll live under your wing, and you'll never know that I carry a sting. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. yes, sir. three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, one for the little boy who bears our lane. Little Bo Sheep has lost her sheep and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home and bring their tails behind them. Well, if they were leaving their tails, that would be very weird. <laughs> where are you going to, pretty maid? Okay, that's really the name of this one. Where are you going to, my pretty maid? I'm going a milking, sir, she said. May I go with you, my pretty maid? You're kindly welcome, sir, she said. What is your father, my pretty maid? My farm... My father's a farmer, sir, she said. What is your fortune, my pretty maid? My face is my fortune, sir, she said. Then I won't marry you, my pretty maid. Nobody asked you, sir, she said. Wow, that's just... rude. <laughs> I mean... She's only got a pretty face and you don't want to marry her? What the hell? Greedy bastard. <laughs> Bow wow, says the dog. Mew mew, says the cat. Grunt grunt, goes the hog. And squeak, goes the rat. Toohoo! hoo Says the owl, wouldn't it be the tomb? Oh. Ka -ka, says the crow. Quack, quack, says the duck. And what the sparrow says, you know. <laughs> oh, this is this. Goosey, goosey, gander, where shall we wander? Upstairs, downstairs, in my lady's chamber? Pickety pickety, my black hen. She lays eggs for gentlemen. Sometimes nine, sometimes ten. Hickety pickety, my fat hen. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. They were forking around, apparently. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Ding dong dell, pussy's in the well. Who put her in? Little Johnny Green, who pulled her out? Little Tommy Stout. What a naughty boy was that to drown poor pussy cat, who never did any harm but killed the mice in his father's barn. Wow. Johnny Green is an asshole. Clearly. And there's part of this page missing. Something, something, man of law, something lay upon straw and the straw, and slept on the grass to buy his wife a looking glass. Okay, well.
As Tommy Snooks and Bessie Brooks were walking out on Sunday, says Tommy Snooks to Bessie Brooks, Will you marry me on Monday? Tomorrow will be Monday. And Johnny shall have a new bonnet, and Johnny shall go to the fair, and Johnny shall have a new ribbon to tie up his bonny brown hair. And why may not I love Johnny? And why may not Johnny love me? And why I may, why may not I love Johnny as well as another body? And here is a leg for a stocking, and here is a leg for a shoe, and here is a kiss for his daddy, and two for his mammy, I true. And why not I love Johnny, and why may not Johnny love me, and why may I not, why, yeah, why may not I love Johnny as well as another body? That is just. Never heard that one before either. This is full of so many weird things. Um, this book's not going to last the night, honestly. I'm already halfway through. Seesaw Marjorie Daw. Johnny shall have a new master. He shall have but a penny a day because he can't work in a fester. Okay. Deedle deedle dumpling, my son John, he went to bed with his stockings on. One shoe off and one shoe on, deedle deedle dumpling, my son John. Don't know, that was just weird. Elsie Marley is grown so fine she won't get up to serve this wine, but lies in bed till eight or nine, and surely she does take her time. Why isn't she just a fancy woman? Little Polly Flanders sat among the cinders, warming her pretty little toes. Her mother came and caught her and whipped her little daughter for spoiling her nice new clothes. Yeah. Hmm. That shall be so much. Man. Well, the goose rhymes are just... all over the place and kind of creepy, to be honest. What sounds running? Okay, that's weird. Is there doors opening and such? Old Mother Hubbard went to her cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. But when she came there, the cupboard was bare. So the poor dog had none. She went to the baker's to buy him some bread. But when she came back, the poor dog was dead. She went to the joiner's to buy him a coffin. But when she came back, the poor dog was laughing. She took a clean dish to get him some tripe. But when she came back, he was smoking his pipe. She went to heaven for white wine and red. When she came back, the dog stood on his head. She went to the barber's to buy him a wig. But when she came back, he was dancing a jig. She went to the fruiter fruiteries to buy him some fruit. But when she came back, he was playing the flute. She went to the tailor's to buy him a coat, but when she came back, he was riding a goat.
The dame made a curtsy. The dog made a bow. The dame said, Your servants. The dog said, Bow wow. Okay, then. <laughs> this is going to be a very short stream. There was an old lady who rode on a broom with a high gee ho, gee humble. And she took an old cat behind her for groom with a bimble, bamble, bumble. They had traveled along till they came to the sky with a high gee ho, gee humble. But the journey was long made, them very hungry with a bimble, bamble, bumble. Says Tom, I can find nothing here to eat, with a high G ho G humble. So let us go back again, I entreat, with a bimble, bamble, bumble. The dog will come when he is called, the cat will walk away, well that's just a given. The monkey's cheek is very bald, the goat is fond of play. The parrot is a prat's pace, yet knows not what he said. The noble horse will win the race, or draw you in a chase. The pig is not a feeder in ice. The squirrel loves a nut. The wolf would eat you in a trice. The blizzard's eyes are shut. The lark sings high up in the air, the linnel in a tree. The swan, he has a bosom fair. And who so proud is he? Oh, yes, the peacock is more proud, because his tail has eyes. The lion roars so very loud, he'll fill you with surprise. The raven's coat is shining black, or rather, raven gray. The camel's hunch is on his back, the owl abhors the day. The sparrow steals a cherry pie, the elephant is wise. The blackbird charms you with his pipe. The false hyena lies. The hen guards well her little chicks. The cow, her hoof is slit. The beaver builds with mud and sticks. The lapwing cries, Peewit! The streaked tigers, fond of blood. The pigeons feed on peas. The duck will grovel in the mud. The mice will eat your cheese. The lobster's black. When boiled, he's red. The harmless lamb must bleed. The codfish has a clumsy head. On goose, the goose on grass will feed. The queen of hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The knave of hearts, he stole the tarts and took them right away. The king of hearts called for the tarts and beat the knave full sore. The knave of hearts brought back the tarts. He vowed he'd steal no more. <laughs> okay. Little poor parrot sat in her garret eating toast and tea. A little brown mouse jumped into the house and stole it all away. Cock crows in the morn to tell us to rise, and he who lies late will never be wise. For early to bed and early to rise is the way to be healthy, wealthy, and wise. And that is a lot of bullshit. <laughs> Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie, kissed all the girls and making them cry. When the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgy ran away. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled pipers Peter, pick Peter Piper picked? I'm going to do that again, because that one's fun. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a, pick, picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? 
explosives. Gotta love them. Little Betty Blue lost her holiday shoe. What can Little Betty do? Give her another to match the other. And then she may walk in too. Jack be nimble, and Jack be quick. And Jack jumped over the candlestick. Little manic and a coat in a white petticoat. The longer she stands, the shorter she grows. Huh. It's about a candle. Cool. There's another singable one. I saw a ship sailing, sailing on the sea. It was full of pretty things for baby and for me. There were comforts in the cabin, and apples in the hold. The sails were all of velvet and the masts of beaten gold. The four and twenty sailors that stood between the decks were four and twenty white mice with chains about their necks. The captain was a duck with a packet on his back. And when the ship began to move, the captain said, Quack, quack! Okay, then. Bobby Shafto's gone to sea, silver buckles at his knee. When he comes back, you'll marry me, Bonnie Bobby Shafto. Bobby Shafto has a cow, white and black, about the mouth. Open the gates and let her through, Bobby Shafto's in cow. Bobby Shafto has a hen, cockle button, cockle bend. She lays eggs for gentlemen, but none for Bobby Shafto. Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, and we'll have tea. Suck it, take it off again, suck it, take it off again, suck it, take it off again, and we'll run away. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Dear, dear, what can the matter be? Oh dear, what can the matter be? Johnny so long at the fair. He promised he'd buy me a fairing, should please me. And then, for a kiss, oh, he vowed he would tease me. He promised he'd bring me a bunch of blue ribbons to tie up my bonny brown hair. Or if it's the same Johnny that uh, did the time. I don't know. Hush your bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow bends, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, bow, cradle, and all. Morbid children's tongues. Crosspatch. Crosspatch, draw the latch, sit by the fire and spin. Take a cup and drink it up, then call your neighbors in. Okay. Hmm. Jack's brat, a live petty, now bought him a pig. It was not very little, it was not very big. Paddy Maloney had a black pony, as blind as a pony could be. Says Paddy, tis bad, but I'll mend it, my lad. The spectacle surely will make him see. Little Tim Spratt had a pet rat in a tin cage with a wheel. Said Little Tim Spratt each day to his rat, If hungry, my, my dear, you must squeal. Donkey, donkey, old and gray, open your mouth and gently bray. Lift your ears and blow your horn to wake the world this sleepy morn. Little blue hen that lives in the glen keeps a blue cat and a blue hen, which laid blue eggs a score and then. Where shall I find a little blue hen? Little Belle Bond that lives by the pond has two little goldfish of which she is fond. Little Belle Bond, the beautiful blond. Yeah, this book is not going to last me past tonight. Oh, well, this one's familiar. There was a little girl. There was a little girl who had a little curl. 
right in the middle of her forehead. When she was good, she was very, very good. And when she was bad, she was horrid. Little Bob Snooks. Little Bobby Snooks was fond of his books and loved to usher and master. And little Jack Spry got a black eye and carried his nose in plaster. Poor old Robinson Crusoe, poor old Robinson Crusoe. They made him a coat of an old nanny goat. I wonder how they could do so with a ring a ting a tang and a ting a tang. Poor old Robinson Crusoe. Peter White, you'll never go right. Would you know the reason why? He follows his nose wherever he goes, and that stands all awry. Little Tee Wee, he went to sea in an open boat. And while afloat, the little boat bend, and my stories ended. Okay, so the kid's boat fell apart at sea. Good to know. Three wise men of Gotham went to sea in a bowl. And if the bowl had been stronger, my story would have been longer. The hell? <laughs> okay, yeah, the stories of people dying at sea. Oh, uh, wait, I see them on this next page. I'm going to have to... Really? I'm... Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I caught the fish alive. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Right. Okay. And this is how the original poem goes. I'll have to do the Nightmare on Elm Street version. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a good fat hen. Eleven, twelve, dig and delve. Thirteen, fourteen, maids according. Fifteen, sixteen, maids a kissing. Seventeen, eighteen, maids a waiting. Nineteen twenty, my plate's empty. This was two. One, two, Fred is coming for you. Three, four, you better lock your door. Five, no. five six, grab a crucifix. Seven, eight, you better stay up late. Nine, ten, you'll never sleep again. Okay. <laughs> You're in my story now, wolf boy. I can resist, sir. Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was opened, the birds began to sing. Was not that a dainty dish to set before the king? Pie birds. The king of France went up a hill with twenty thousand men. The king of France came down the hill, never went up again. because he lost his head. He got decapitated. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. This is the end of the book. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Okay, well. Damn. That is all that is in this. Uh, 
not as long as I had expected, but I didn't really expect much. <laughs> so, um, not the longest stream I've ever had. Not the shortest either. But, uh, hell. Uh, let's see if I can find someone to raid. Is anyone left on? Yeah, read Sam. Just for the sake of reading Sam. If you want to, copy and paste. And glue later. And we will read Samich. She's still on. Maybe let me check. Yes, the kitty boy is still going. So we are gonna read Sam. And uh, if I don't see you tomorrow, I will see you next year. Because it's the end of the year as we know it. It's the end of the year as we know it. And I feel fine. Okay, so I will see you all there. See you in Sam's. Have a good night. Have a good evening. Good afternoon. Morning. Enjoy the time zone. And I'll see you there. Let's go read the kitty boy. <laughs>